comes the, here comes the, here comes the, here comes the, here comes the. G'day folks, welcome to the Brothers Weekly Wrap and what a fantastic night it was on Saturday out at the Smithfield Sporting Complex when the club took on arch rivals Ivanhoe's uh, across four grades as part of the, the cross-code cross promotion uh, where they also intertwined our games with a, a few hit-outs of the local uh, Cairns Rugby Union competition uh, with the Northern Beaches Mud Crabs meeting our namesake uh, brothers in those union clashes. They got off to a fantastic start. Uh, Jack Mapper's second division guys, they continued their unbeaten run with a pretty high scoring 40 points to 26 victory. Uh, the, as I mentioned, the boys are undefeated and they're certainly keen to keep that momentum rolling. So well done to Jack and, and his charges there. Uh, moving into the under 18s game, uh, Bobby Berg's young guys, they're, they're, they're hanging along beautifully. They're playing some fantastic footy, uh, racking up plenty of points and, and most pleasingly limiting the opposition as well and, and they ran out pretty comfortable 64 points to 8 winners uh, at the weekend uh, with a, a multitude of try scorers so well done to the under 18s boys, it's a shame that the club's moving in the right direction and uh, there's, there's plenty of bright futures ahead. Reserve grade, uh, 32 points to 12 victors in the end. Uh, you'd really like to think that we would get the win with the quality of players that we do have running around in reserve grade at the moment. Obviously led out there with Anthony Satrick uh, playing the way he does, but also when you've got the likes of Benny Shell and Matt Bond uh, spending time in reserve grade at the moment, uh, it, it goes to show that they're certainly going to get plenty of go forward and, and the outside backs are going to be able to play off the back of that and you're going to go a long way to getting a comfortable win, which the guys did with uh, that 32 points to 12 victory. Uh, moving into A grade, uh, Benny Shell paid his penance and then backed it up with a fantastic performance in the A grade game uh, where our boys were able to run away with a 38 points to 12 win. Uh, pretty comfortable in the end and it was, Benny was really, really well supported by Corey Child, who was outstanding on the weekend. Uh, Corey was in everything, uh, carries the ball tough. He's got the silky ball skills of a half, and he's playing some fantastic footies. Keep up the great work there. Uh, CC, the man child himself. Again, heading out to Smithfield to take on Ivanhoe's to come away from four games with four wins is a fantastic achievement and certainly one that the club would uh, take every day of the week to, to get those wins over over the hose out there. So well done to the entire club, but obviously attention needs to turn to this week where we're on the road again, this time over to Jalara Oval, over Yarrabah by the sea. Again, four grades in what is a really tough place to go and get the wins. Uh, Yarrabah's A grade side, they're starting to find their feet and, and uh, get in the groove a little and so there's certainly going to be no push ups this weekend and we're going to have to be at our best to come away with the victory. Uh, the game will also provide the debut for one of our young under 18s who's stepping up, uh, young Keegan Tahuga. Uh, Keegan's one of the WA connection, uh, come across from Western Australia early in the year to be exposed to the Northern Pride environment through his involvement with Malmeninga. Cup side and his time with our under 18s has, has been really good. He's got a lot of promise. Uh, still got plenty to learn and plenty of improvement in him, uh, and that's that's almost scary at times. Uh, also, this weekend there'll be a women's clash highlighted before the Agra game, so that'll be fantastic to see uh, the city country women's game. So if you're a fan of women's footy, make sure that you get out to Jalara Oval this weekend. And finally, just a quick touch on juniors. We've got home games down at Stan Williams Park this weekend across all grades. And just like to make special mention of our under-14 side. Um, they're, they're playing beautifully at the moment. Uh, and on the weekend, they came up against uh, the reigning premiers in Mariba, a side who, in the trials, actually put 50 on us. And we were able to turn the tables and come away with a 50 points to nil win, which is most pleasing. And a special mention to one of the players out of that age group as well, young Xavier Savage, uh, who's actually sitting in the top 10 across the country for tries scored so far in 2016, uh, where he's crossed the line 16 times to date. So not a bad effort considering this weekend is round five. So congratulations, Xavier, and keep up the good work. Until next week, hopefully uh, four grades, four wins in the seniors, and plenty of great performance across all the junior grades this weekend. Until next week, go the fish. <coughs>